Hey guys, so it's been a while. Remember that time I said that I was gonna film videos every week and then didn't make a video for a month? <laughs> so there's a reason for it. Um, we sort of had to unexpectedly move house, find a new apartment, um, move everything, and now we're sort of still surrounded by boxes, but I wanted to make a video that um, I now can make because I have had to look for an apartment and um, I know a lot of people ask how to find an apartment in Mexico City so I thought I would share with you like a little bit about what I found like what websites I found helpful what information um, you definitely want to know there's a garbage man outside the windows are closed okay um, what information what information you might want to know, like um, what you'll need to like rent a place. Um, so I'll show you first a little bit about if you want to like come here temporarily, like if you're only coming to Mexico City for maybe six months or less, um, but you want to like pay for a place that isn't a hotel, I'll show you how to do that first. Um, I'll show you some websites that you don't really need like a guarantor for um, and places to find furnished apartments if you don't want to you know, buy loads of furniture because you're not going to be here for very long. And then I'll talk you through how we found an apartment that we know we're going to have for a year and how you do that if you were coming to like properly move to Mexico City and the cheapest places to look, the like easiest places to find stuff, especially if your Spanish isn't great. So let's get started. I'm just going to swap you guys over to my laptop so that you can see everything, all the websites that I'm using, and I'll talk you through how to use them. So here we go. So this is the first place I would check if you were going to come to Mexico City um, and basically just want like a temporary place. Even if you're staying for like three or four months. I mean, I know people who use Airbnb and they've been living here for eight, nine, ten months. It's a super, super simple way, but it's also the most expensive way. So all you do really is search Mexico City up here in the uh, search bar and choose your dates. Start with like trying to book for a month. Um, just to check to make sure that you're going to get a place that's available for the dates that you want to start. And then what I would do is click on the page that you, of the apartment that you want to rent and try to... You can't do this. Contact the host. So if you scroll down... Sorry, I thought it was over on the right side. If you scroll down here past the reviews it'll tell you about the person and you can contact them directly click contact host and send them a message check in date like and then check out date roughly how long you want to stay and just talk to them about offering like a, a better rate for long term so if I stay for uh, three months if I stay for four months can you do it at this price per night or this price per month um, and I know a lot of people that, that have really good success with finding long-term places here on um, Airbnb because you know you know people they they don't want their their apartments to be empty and if if you're willing to pay them a set fee for an extended period of time it, it guarantees that they're gonna make an income on their apartment um, you know it's a it's a win-win for everybody but this is definitely the most expensive option, um, so just beware that, like, you may be able to do it easily in English and, like, have everything taken care of, um, but it will be the most expensive option. So the next thing I would bring up is this website called Homey, H-O-M-I-E dot M-X. Um, I've put it into English, but you can have it in Spanish as well. And basically, this is one of the only websites um, available that allows you to not um, use a guarantor. In Mexico they call it an aval, A-V-A-L, aval. And that's like someone who has to sign your lease with you and say like if you don't pay your rent then they'll like cover it for you. Um, it doesn't matter how many times you've rented in Mexico, it doesn't matter if you have great credit or a bank account or whatever. Most people want you to have an aval. So this website allows you to skip that. So if you've just moved to Mexico City and you want an apartment um, that, and you don't know anybody here who could be your guarantor, this is a great place to look. Most apartments aren't crazy expensive, but they are still more expensive than if you did have an aval or if you did um, have like a really large deposit that you could put down. I love this. This is like tenants are young people and people who own homes are old people. <laughs> 
Um, so anyway, you would go to like find departamento, find a department, um, an, sorry, an apartment, and um, you can choose everything. So how much you're willing to pay, um, you can select a certain amount, you can say how many bedrooms do you want, how many bathrooms do you want, um, and if you need parking places or not. You can have it furnished or unfurnished. Obviously, furnished apartments are more expensive, so just be aware of that. Um, and then you can even select like a, uh, you know, a certain place. Oh, that's funny because it's translated everything. Um, so yeah, and obviously the thing I really like about this website is there's a map. So you can see where things are. You can zoom out and see, okay, well, there's four apartments here. That's a nice apartment. Anyway, so obviously you get the idea. And then you can contact people through the this information. The other websites that I have left are websites that you would go to if you were looking for an apartment um, long term. So, Segunda Mano. This is one apartment where you a website where you can find and same things you enter in whether you want it furnished, whether you want parking spots, um, the city, the area in the city that you want to be. Um, that's always really good to know, like exactly where you want to be, obviously, because every neighborhood has different levels of, pr of pricing, obviously. So this is one of the websites that I used. Um, La Moody is not working right now, but this is another one um, here. I'll put all the links below to um, the websites that I'm using on here. Viva Nuncios is another one. Um, this one you can find furnished places, unfurnished places. This is one of the websites that I have found the cheapest unfurnished places. Um, so if you're like very price sensitive, this is one of the best websites that I found. The other website that I thought was quite good, um, Propiedades, uh, this is another place that um, you can find. Just make sure that when you're checking, obviously, that you're not doing 5,000 US dollars. I mean, unless that's your thing, that's your price range, but um, it was certainly not my price range. Um, so yeah, this is another one you can sort by, uh, sort by price and everything. So these are all the websites that I recommend using. Right. So the final option is the cheapest option. And that is literally to go to the neighborhood that you want to live in and to walk around the neighborhood and look for signs that say, say renta, um, and take on the phone number and call them or have someone that, you know, that speaks Spanish well, call them because that is the cheapest way to find an apartment. So if you're going to be in Mexico City long-term, if you're properly like moving here and you're gonna buy furniture and bring your dog, like that is the way to, to find an apartment because you'll be able to negotiate with the owner or the, the landlord or the proprietor, or whatever, like the person who is dealing with the apartment. Um, you'll be able to find out exactly what the maintenance fees are, what the bills are gonna be like. Um, and off, often as a, if you're coming to the country new, um, if you can give like a big enough deposit, you may not need to find an aval or a, a guarantor. So that is the way that I found this apartment. Um, we're still unpacking, so I'll do a tour video another time. But um, yeah, so that is the other way to find um, really cheap apartments. And that is the way that I recommend best. Even if you don't speak Spanish, try and find a friend um, or... I don't know, speak to people that you work with. Like, it, it's it's genuinely the best way to find an apartment in Mexico. I know it's old school, like, you're dealing directly with the the owner, but it's, it, it's really the cheapest way. So there you have it. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions about renting a place in Mexico City, if you've rented a place in the past and you've used something that I didn't mention in this video, it'd be really cool if you popped that information in the comments for other people, um, because it's always great to share resources. And um, hopefully it won't be a month before I see you again. <laughs> Thanks as always for sticking around with me, guys. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.